What's up, Police Sports Gamer here, and I got a hopefully positive Xbox video for you guys. But first, would you please click on the like button, subscribe, and comment below on what you think the Xbox game showcase is going to be, if it's going to be a great one or it's going to be another failure for Xbox like it was previously with the CGI trailers. If you've gone around YouTube videos, you've seen a ton of Xbox fanboys boasting positive energy towards the Xbox showcase. This is their time to shine since, since PlayStation failed in theirs. So this is Xbox's chance stick at the playstation and get fans excited for the future of xbox we've had fanboys like dealer gaming and his podcast randall thor and his podcast and the biggest fanboy of them all Cole eastwood saying they are looking forward to this and xbox is really gonna shine in this game showcase coming up in like five days so let me get you through an article from tech raptor it's mostly about the aaron greenberg tweets i don't have twitter so i have to go through an article for these tweets but it's gonna highlight what can we expect from Xbox that PlayStation failed in their showcase? Microsoft Aaron Greenberg shares details on what you can expect from Xbox Game Showcase. And I'm going to go through this article and I'll give my opinion here and there about his tweets and about the showcase. Xbox Game Showcase is coming in five days, followed by a Starfield Direct Attachment. Microsoft VP of Xbox Games Marketing Aaron Greenberg took to Twitter to share some information on what you can expect. Now, I just want to say Aaron B Greenberg better be confident that Xbox Xbox is really going to shine, given these tweets he sent sticking it to PlayStation. Greenberg confirmed that combined duration will be roughly two hours and mentioned that there won't be full CGI trailers from first party studios. First, you would think that the Starfield is going to be like a half hour, so they're going to have an hour and a half for the Xbox game showcase. You would think, seeing that, that there's going to be a ton of games shown. So hopefully that comes to be true they have plenty of developers to fill up a game showcase from their past buyouts. It's been so long since I stated in my past videos that Xbox failed to show anything, so they should have a ton of stuff to show for this showcase. They should have a ton of gameplay, and that sucks that in the past they showed CGI trailers. I really hate CGI trailers. It really, it might show what the game is sort of about, but it doesn't show gameplay. People want to see gameplay. So Aaron Greenberg says, none of our first party games in the show are full CG trailers. Everything is either in-game footage, in-engine footage, or in-game footage with some cinematics. Each of our trailers will be labeled so it's hopefully clear for our fans. And I stated on past videos, my point was they should be showing full gameplay on Xbox Series X hardware and not PC. So hopefully these games that they're going to show is from Xbox Series X. And I also really don't like in-engine footage because they could still put a ton of CGI into those footage, which they normally do. I'd rather see in-game footage, not in-engine footage. So hopefully a lot of these games are going to have footage to showcase them to us, the Xbox fans. It'll be all entirely about games. There won't be any movie or TV series trailers within the game show. There won't be a 12-month limit on release for the game showcase, so we may see titles coming further in the future. And that's a stick it to PlayStation where they laughably showed their Gran Turismo movie in their showcase like nobody wants to see a movie trailer in a game showcase you would think that PlayStation to learn that lesson from the xbox one showcase where they concentrate more on tv than games it seems like these companies are not learning from the past mistakes that each company has made because they keep on making the same mistake over and over again and they get called out for it and they still keep doing it which i don't understand lastly greenberg encouraged fans to simply come out and open-minded and enjoy the ride no 
plans to tease, temper, or spoil anything. Love seeing all the wild expectations. My advice is to just come in and open-minded and enjoy the ride. Appreciate the years of hard work so many teams have put in their heart and soul into this for you all. The Xbox Game Showcase will be aired by Microsoft on June 11th, 1 o'clock Eastern Time. So I hope all this boasting by Aaron Greenberg will show us that what Xbox is capable of, that Xbox is going to blow it out of the water. I am hoping and praying that we're going to show in-game footage on Xbox Series X, many games coming out this year and next year. What I want to see is Senua Saga, and hopefully that's going to come out sometime this year. Some people are saying early part of next year, because the fall might be loaded with games from third parties and first party. So they might postpone until next year where it's not that crowded. Definitely want to see Avowed gameplay. Should be releasing sometime next year. Forza Motorsport, which is going this year. Seen actual race for that game. Actual in-game footage for that game. And I'm looking forward to the Starfield showcase and seeing what that game is all about. And hopefully they show like 10 to 15, 20 minutes of actual gameplay for that game with all aspects of that game. And people are excited for the possibility of them showing Fable. I don't think that game is going to be released anytime soon. I assume that's going to be one of the in-engine trailers if they do show it. I don't think it's going to be much to that, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they could do with that game. I just want to point out all the excitement there is for this Xbox showcase, and hopefully they come through with the games proving that there is excitement that should be with Xbox, and not fall on their face like PlayStation did in their showcase. I'm hoping to see a lot of in-game footage for a multitude of games, and hopefully temper down on the in-engine footage, or the cinematics but we'll see what happens with this but please like this video comment below and please subscribe thanks see ya